everyone welcome back to ASEAN Keys my name is Amira and today we will be talking about Malaysian banking our very own analyst Desmond Cheng has just recently upgraded the sector from neutral to a positive so we have him on the line right now so Desmond could you just talk a little bit more on your recent upgrade as well as I believe in your report you have mentioned the five sector positives which underpin your upgrade so if you could just elaborate more on that morning the past few months have been tough for Malaysians with the resurgence in COVID-19 cases and the reimposition of the MCO. While it's still early days, however, there is cautious optimism uh, since active cases are declining and the economy is opening up further. So with that, the outlook for the banking sector is improving and we have upgraded the sector to positive from neutral. Now, the upgrade is on the back of uh, five positives for the sector this year. The first is that the current MCO has been less restrictive than the one back in March 2020, and most sectors of the economy have remained open. As such, the economic impact is expected to be less severe, and Maybank's economics team expects the local economy to grow by 5.1% in 2021, as opposed to a contraction of 5.6% in 2020. What is positive for the banking sector here is that uh, we expect loan growth to pick up momentum and we are projecting a loan growth of 3.8% for the industry versus 3.4% um, in 2020. The second positive is that our economics team uh, expects no further rate cuts this year. This is positive for the banking sector because it should allow for interest margin recovery for the banks, especially since uh, deposits should be priced fully from the 125 basis points rate cut in 2020 itself. A positive impact from, the, uh, from declining interest rates in 2020 is the fact that uh, this gave rise to a decline in bond yields and the corresponding rise in bond prices which in turn led to sizable investment gains for the banks. So most banks currently sit on sizable unrealized gains that could be partially realized uh, if need be to provide support to earnings this year. Our fourth positive is that we expect credit costs to be lower in 2021. A point to note is that because of the prevailing financial assistance program, the industry's impaired loans ratio is unlikely to peak uh, until the second half of this year. What is more critical, however, is that banks continue to provide prudently from risk. Um, we expect prudent provisioning to continue, but with gradual economic recovery, this pays for the way for lower, um, although still uh, elevated credit costs this year. Uh, the fifth positive is that the Malaysian banks have entered into this crisis from a position of strength in that they have very strong capital positions. The average CET1 ratio for the banking system is more than 13% at this point in time. And this should allow uh, the banks to weather through this economic uh, crisis pretty well. And it also pays for the restoration of dividend payouts, which were lower in 2020. So with all that said, could you share with us what are your expectations for the year 2021? How well do you think the banks will perform this year? And we expect core net profit for uh, the banks within our coverage to expand by 19% this year, as opposed to a contraction of 21% in 2020. As a result, uh, uh, and this is mainly on the back of lower credit costs, um, we expect the ROEs for the banks to average a higher 8.6% in 2021 versus about 7.6% in 2020, improving to about 9.2% in 2022. So with that, um, we are positive on the sector and at this point in time, we have buys on RHB, CIMB, BIMB, AMMB, Hong Long Bank and Alliance Bank. Thank you.